Hi everyone, this is going to be a very quick video denoting the difference between benign and malignant hypertension. Now, hypertension in general is the state of having an increased blood pressure, and there are many different criteria that you can use to define what is high blood pressure, but usually stage one hypertension is defined as having a systolic blood pressure that is greater than 140 millimeters of mercury and a diastolic blood pressure being greater than 90 millimeters of mercury. So what is the difference between benign and malignant hypertension? Well, benign and malignant hypertension mainly have their differences denoted in uh, chronicity, so the amount of time that they actually occur in. Benign hypertension occurs after, uh, over a very long period of time. So, for example, this is a hypertension is, that is seen in the majority of the population uh, that has hypertension, since your actual blood pressure may not be over, uh, for example, 130 on 85. So this is not necessarily very high blood pressure. But if you have it for an extended period of time, you risk causing gradual uh, but very slow damage to your organs. And the organs that are usually affected in benign hypertension are the same organs that are affected in malignant hypertension. But the reason why they're affected is because of their usually their very delicate structures or um, their high amount of blood that they receive. And the three main culprits that are affected uh, due to any type of hypertension are the kidneys, because the kidneys receive a large amount of blood, and due to their filtration and if there's an increase, uh, since the glomeruli of the kidney are very fragile, an increase in blood pressure can cause damage to these glomeruli. Another culprit is the brain. Hypertension can have very negative effects on the brain, uh, once again, the brain has a lot of small structures, and if a person suffers from a stroke due to hypertension, uh, then they can cause for liquefactive necrosis, which is when essentially damage to certain areas of the brain causes for ischemia, as in any tissue. But since the brain uh, tissue goes undergoes damage, it can actually turn into a liquid-like substance which leaks out of the foramen magnum, which is the inferior part of the base of the skull. And the third organ that is usually affected by hypertension, and is actually usually the first organ to be affected, is, is the eyes. Now, the eyes are affected because the eyes have a very small um, blood vessel radius, so the blood vessels are very, very small, and therefore very, very delicate. And if hypertension uh, causes an increase in blood pressure within the retina, then these blood vessels essentially just burst. And that can cause, um, if it's very extreme, uh, it can cause blindness, blurred vision. Um, but usually, for a precursor for, or for the diagnosis of hypertension, we do a fundoscopy, which is when we look into someone's eyes. And if we see that there are very dilated vessels or burst vessels, then that's pretty pathognomonic of hypertension. These eyes uh, can be affected uh, as well and cause um, problems in the future in terms of blurred vision and eventually dizziness as well. So that's benign hypertension, not necessarily a high blood pressure, but this blood pressure is maintained for an extended period of time, and that means that it causes gradual uh, destruction of organs, and death can usually result due to either a stroke in the brain um, or kidney failure, which forces the patient to be on dialysis. Um, and the scary thing about this hypertension is that it starts off as being asymptomatic because the damage that's being done to these organs is so small that it takes a very long time to actually build up and present. So the best treatment for benign hypertension, although uh, if it's too late, is using ACE inhibitors, is actually prevention. Malignant hypertension, on the other hand, is 
hypertension that occurs in 1% to 5% of the population that has uh, hypertension and is the acute and more dangerous form of hypertension. Unlike benign hypertension where it's a lower or a comparatively lower blood pressure for an extended period amount of time, malignant hypertension has a very very high blood pressure for a very short amount of time and it's usually defined as ha having a blood pressure that is above 200 on 120 millimeters of mercury. So your systolic blood pressure has to be above 200 millimeters of mercury on a diastolic pressure of 120 millimeters of mercury to be classed as having a malignant hypertensive episode. And as you can see, since the same organs are affected in malignant hypertension, people can have acute kidney failure, uh, they can undergo a, a stroke, which is when they have um, a reduction in blood flow uh, through ischemia, either that be through a thrombus, or they can have an increased amount of blood flow through an increased blood pressure, which essentially causes direct destruction of the tissues um, in the brain. However, there is a very select number of the population that may actually present symptoms that are asymptomatic, even though they have a very, very high blood pressure of maybe even above 200 millimeters of mercury. Therefore, it is very important that we identify these people because even though they present as asymptomatic, they may just collapse and this um, quite abrupt syncope is essentially where uh, the hypertension uh, becomes very dangerous because if a person collapses, that means that the hypertension has started to affect their brain. And if we don't pick up on this soon enough, then it can very well result in the person's death. So it's very important that we always measure a patient's blood pressure. Firstly, if, they're, if they actually are experiencing a hypersensitive or a malignant episode, or blood pressure should always be inspected regardless of where the patient is if it's just a general consultation as well. So in review, if we look at the difference between benign and malignant hypertension, benign hypertension is having a relatively lower but still hypertensive blood pressure for an extended period of time causing gradual destruction of organs and malignant hypertension is having this very very high blood pressure but for a uh, very short period of time, and that can cause quite detrimental symptoms and effects on the body. So I hope all of that has made sense today. Thanks for watching.